Hi everyone. In this video, I am going to explain about wave impedance. I will explain the definition of wave impedance and also derivation for TE wave. Okay, so we will can calculate the wave impedance judge at expression for TE wave and as well as TM wave. So before going into the calculation part, let us see what is the definition of wave impedance. What do you mean by wave impedance? Wave impedance is defined as wave impedance. Wave impedance indicated by ZZ. Suppose if it is for, if the wave impedance is calculated for a TE wave, it is ZTE. If it is calculated for TM wave, it can be written as ZTM. Okay, so in general for a normal uh, wave impedance, it is represented as ZZ. Impedance is nothing but Z. Z is nothing but direction of propagation of the wave. So now, wave impedance is defined as the ratio of the strength of a field in one transverse direction to the strength of the other field in another transverse direction. That means if you are taking the electric field in X direction, it should be divided with magnetic field in Y direction. Okay, So it is defined as, it is defined as the ratio of it is defined as the ratio of the strength strength of a field in one transverse direction to the strength of the other field of the other field in another direction another transverse direction another transverse direction. See what the definition says. It is defined as the ratio of strength of a field. Strength of a field means that may be electric field or magnetic field. That may be either electric field or magnetic field. It is not specified which field it is. You can take anything. You can take either electric field or magnetic field. So strength of a field in one transverse direction, here there are two directions are there, x direction and y direction. Z is not the direction that will not come because Z is the direction of wave that is propagated. Okay, so either you have to take x or y. So it is defined as the ratio of strength of a field in one transverse direction. That means if you are taking the electric field in x direction, then you have to represent ex to the strength of the other field say as you have taken e here electric field the other field is nothing but magnetic field okay uh, suppose if you have taken e here e in x direction so ex to the strength of the other field nothing but magnetic field in another transfer direction nothing but y so in graphically you can represent like this it is x direction and it is y direction. So towards y, if you are taking EY, uh, towards x, you can also take hx. This is one pair. Or another combination is in x direction, if you take ex, y direction, you have to take hy. Hope you understand now. Okay. So, now you can write that is Z, Z is equal to, it is the ratio of EX divided by HY. Or, you can write Z, Z as HX divided by E, Y, 
h x divided by e y both are valid you can take this one or this one both equations are valid now let us go for the calculation of wave impedance for t e wave okay so for t e wave for t e wave so what do you mean by t e wave transverse electric t e wave is nothing but transverse electric so transverse electric means e z is equal to for t e wave e z is equal to 0 and h z is a non zero value h z is a non zero value okay now in order to take this definition z z is equal to ex by hy we should know what is ex and ey see i will explain what is the procedure here we have to take the equation of ex from the first first derivation what is that uh, propagation of waves in a rectangular wave grid there we have solved four equations that is ex ey hx and hy from there you need to take these equations ex and hy and again you need to substitute in this equation and we, along with that condition is ex is, is, is equal to 0 for t e wave then some parameters will be cancelled and after derivating after dividing them you will get this z z equation okay i will tell you so we know that we know that ex is equal to minus gamma by h square dou ez by dou x minus j omega mu by h square dou hz by dou y and hy is equal to minus gamma by h square dou hz by dou y minus j omega epsilon by h square dou ez by dou x. Now from the definition of T e wave from the definition of T e wave e z is equal to 0 substitute in the above two equations then e x is equal to minus j omega mu by h square dou h z by dou y and another one is h y is equal to only first term remains and second term gets cancelled minus gamma by h square dou h z by dou y okay so what is the definition of the z z z z now for t e wave it becomes z t e i already told you it is z t e okay that means wave impedance z for t e wave is equal to e x by h y substitute e x is equal to minus j omega mu by h square into dou h z by dou y divided by minus gamma by h square dou h z by dou y dou h z by dou y okay so uh, this denominator part and dou hz by dou y dou hz by dou y cancelled h square h square cancelled minus minus cancel so j omega mu by gamma this is for z t e okay now we can consider what is the gamma where gamma is propagation constant propagation constant where in which direction it is defined 
z direction because the propagation of the wave is in the direction of z so propagation constant gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta we know that propagation constant alpha gamma is equal to alpha plus j beta where alpha is attenuation constant attenuation constant <clears throat> beta is phase constant okay so assume there is no attenuation assume there is no attenuation that means alpha is equal to 0 then gamma is equal to j beta <coughs> gamma is equal to only it is j beta so z e is equal to j omega mu by gamma j omega mu by gamma is nothing but j beta that is equal to omega mu by beta omega mu by beta this is z e we can write it as omega mu by beta okay so we can take the beta equation what is beta in terms of a cutoff frequency and a free space uh, frequency and once it is substituted you will rewrite the equation z e in terms of <laughs> eta okay so i will explain that in the next video thank you